What's up everyone? Well, I got two Jackery solar panels set up today and I'm out here with my buddy Brian from Off Grid Backcountry Adventures and he's running the 100 watt Renegade panel um, and the panels are very different. So I wanted to do a video comparing these two panels and mainly comparing the soft kind of flexible style panel versus uh, a harder framed uh, style panel. So let's dive in and we'll do some shit chatting about solar. You. Got a nice carrying case here for the foldable solar panel, which I just picked up. Really like it. Yeah, totally different having nice the hard panel. Yeah, it's nice because it's super sturdy. I mean, I, I worked with the the um, Jackery foldable panel, but it's real lightweight and it's nice because it's easy to transport around. But this was nice yesterday in the wind. I mean, didn't yours blow away yesterday? Yeah, I had it on the roof of my truck and uh, it blew a good 20 feet away. And thankfully it blew the right way and it didn't blow off the cliff. <laughs> It seriously could have. That, that, um, that would have been an expensive mistake. Those are like 300 bucks. They're like $300. Yeah. Bucks. yeah, and so it landed on a rock and it got a little bit scratched. Um, and that's the first time that's ever happened. I mean, the wind here is like, what, 16 miles per hour? Yeah, 16 or 17 with, with, with pretty big gusts yesterday that were coming up over the rim. Oh my goodness. This site is sick. Dude, this is insane. Yeah. But yeah, this is cool because you've got adjustable legs. Yeah, uh, they're real sturdy. They like you lock them into place with these. Uh, yeah. yeah, these little guys there. Yeah, and then uh, and then it clips up real nice. I'll put, I'll show you. I'm gonna put it in the case before we roll. Yeah, it yeah. Um, folds up really nice. It actually folds up, probably same size, about maybe a little bit smaller, but it is thicker. That's one thing with the Jackery panel. It's super thin when it folds up. Yeah, it's real nice. So you could put it. I mean, you could have like a couple inches of space, like under a bed or something weird, and and fit it where this might not but mm -hmm. um, other than that it's pretty similar size wise and then obviously it's just heavier yeah it's real it's real sturdy you can tell it's it's, it's made with real good construction yeah yeah and it's not that it's heavy it's just heavier yeah. obviously when it's got this you know metal frame and it's, mm -hmm. but I, I do okay i do like how it packs down in the bag mm -hmm. and then you fold the bag you fold everything together huh yeah and see mine i, I didn't I, I didn't have to get a charge controller with this one because the charge controller is already built in with the Max Oak. Yeah. So with that, you, you, I'm good to go. But like Craig got this same panel uh -huh. and he got a charge controller for it because he's, it's going directly into that deep cycle battery that he has under the hood of his truck. Yeah. Which, which that would be a cool video to do because to do, that's a different style of- like, Yeah, maybe we'll even put it in this stuff. video. Who knows? Yeah. So Talking solar with all the nomads <laughs> off right. grid. <laughs> Talking power, mobile power. Yeah. So. And then you have panels on your roof too, but right now your truck's in the shade. Yep. So yeah, if you, you have it out here in the sun. Um, that was the whole motivation for getting this panel was that I was like, well, I want to park in yeah. the shade. Then I can put this in the sun. And I've got 20 foot uh, extension cables that are coming tomorrow for the solar panel. Uh -huh. So I could set the solar panel out there, but I can just leave the max out behind my seat like I normally have it. And not have to take it out. You've been running the Max Oak 150 over here. Yeah, it's been working great. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's plenty of power for me. When that yeah. thing's fully charged up, it's run my battery, power up my drone a couple times, keep the keep the computer, the MacBook Pro constantly going. Because you know how it is when you're editing, it just choose Call of Duty too. Call right? of Duty, yeah. <laughs> Playing that mobile. I, I do that on the on the little iPhone that I picked up as the uh, for the controller with the drone. Oh my gosh! Dude, you you okay? You sound like you're in a war zone. Yeah, I'm playing Call of Duty online right now. I'm working these guys. Look at this. Okay. Oh, I got him again. What? Let me see this. What? Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm just getting this. Oh, dude, this is so much fun. I love doing this stuff, man. But you know, everything that I've got, I, I can keep everything powered up and going for like, like four days with that. Yeah. Without a charge. Yeah. And then, um, Lately, I've been I was I've been parking here in the shade for like literally I got here last Sunday, so I was parking in the shade until Wednesday, so I ran the battery down to almost nothing, and now I'm now I'm building it back up. Mm -hmm. But it's nice throughout the day, like I'll leave it over there, and I don't really have that much needs during the day right now because you and I are kind of collaborating and do stuff, mm -hmm. and stuff, and so I'm not I'm not really using any of my devices, but they're all fully charged. So now I'm just strictly just charging up the battery. We never really had many issues with the Dodge Mahal, um, and we'd park in shade and stuff like that, uh -huh. but you know it it was there was times where it was more inconsistent the biggest thing i noticed with solar when you're traveling is just like down here in arizona it's really strong 
yeah versus uh, canada alaska or the pacific northwest mm -hmm. it's gloomy it's not as strong so yeah i think that's where like in those areas you'd, you'd almost have like solar would be like a luxury and you'd have to run everything off like an inverter that's cooked or, up to or just even more more, more panels solar. more yeah. amp hours in your batteries yeah yeah i've got i'm pulling in 9900 uh now this one down now it's going back up like 100 watts continuously nice which is good yeah and we saw about what did the, what's the highest we saw on that 105 or something like 107 107 yeah which is the same with the jackery panel i've seen even up to like 110 but you know what's funny is that's off the max oak power stations oh yeah yeah for some reason they don't seem to bring in as much to the jackery power the jackery, stations the only one, I, don't, I only got up to like 65 or 70 in the jackery yeah and then, and then if i walked in front of it it always go down to 40. yeah and it would when never... when the panel is hooked up to the jackery power station the jackery panels yeah yeah and so i've had the same experience but when the jackery panel is hooked up to the max oak i've seen it bring in over 100 watts so ah so yeah yeah and what's nice is like with the with the fridge that i have in the back um all the frozen items i keep in the bottom and then I, uh, I keep it at 32 degrees, and the, the lower part stays colder than 32, and the top part doesn't, so I can keep my stuff like that. And then it keeps the stuff in there cold forever. Do you have the fridge on 24-7? Pretty or much, is yeah. It, yeah. Yeah, because I, mean, I was like, thinking about that. I mean, you could the fridges are like legit coolers. You could have them off for periods of the time, yeah. especially maybe. Especially, but you want to just be careful. Yeah, that, obviously. Yeah, like, like I noticed this morning that the fridge kicked off at like 5 a.m. and I was like, cool, and I just unplugged it from the battery. I was like, I don't need it to run until like noon. Yeah. Cause it's in the shade all day long and then or you know all morning yeah it's nice and cool in there it's nothing, yeah nothing yeah i love the max oak stuff the 150 was the first one i had mm -hmm. and then i just did the video on the 500 and the the 2400 i just wanted to try out their different stuff yeah one thing on the 500 that i don't know why they don't have it on the bigger ones it has uh, a light on the back and it has an sos function oh i saw that yeah on your video yeah That's so you really could cool like feature. lay it out i mean yeah Thankfully, I think, I think all the hopefully you'd never have to use it. Took this big bird oh, wow. Dang, they're really those swarming. Crows, they're, those, those crows are trucking. Oh, look, we got like a lone plane flying overhead. You can see the, the trail. Dang, yeah, so many open skies here on this cliff. Oh, it's amazing. It's, it's nice super this morning, cool spot. No, no wind. We've been just getting clobbered with wind the past yeah. couple days. Yeah, it's been insane. That's like one of the, the big drawbacks of this spot is the wind is... Mm -hmm just whipping but there's absolutely none right now so we figured we'd do some chit chatting yeah <laughs> well well it didn't sound like a tornado out here <laughs> yeah right but, but you know but you know the one thing that's nice about windows is it does keep all the bugs away mm -hmm, for sure so they just get blown away but yeah as far as the two panel differences um the the differences i'd say the pros and cons like are kind of similar they kind of outweigh mm -hmm. just depends what you want yeah um it's different i do different like the needs. hard side thing for being really strong mm -hmm. um but I do like how thin the and jackery that, panel that, that is. Jackery They're like, really like, thin. It's like six pounds. Like I don't know. Pounds? Yeah, it's super light. And oh, setup time. Uh, the since it doesn't have a case and stuff, that thing just sets up a little bit quicker. Not yeah. that it's a big deal, but in the morning, like I don't leave them out overnight. So in the morning, I'll get up and set it up. Mm -hmm. And I actually use two jackery 100s. I have the jackery 1000 in the trailer for my computer and my phone and cameras and stuff. And then I have the max oak 2400 in the truck you could charge you could, you could, you could stay good for like 10 days out here <laughs> yeah i've got a, a powerhouse of yeah of power banks but this is the first time like in em. five years that i've been running solar yeah i mean i had a tiny little solar panel that that charged a little tiny battery that bio light yeah. lighting setup but that wasn't it wasn't that big enough to push anything yeah so and now it's been awesome just it's the convenience of it just rolling around and you get to camp you're like oh i got 40 percent more charge throughout the day and i didn't do anything yeah, the That's solar nice. the solar is really cool, but it's fun to hear that you went so long without it. Mm -hmm. And like, if you're talking just camping, like, you don't need solar. Mm -hmm. um, but we're living, but huh? we're talking, you know, we're charging up drones, all the stuff, and, and we're if you're living out here, mm -hmm. you absolutely need all the power you can get. <laughs> yeah, every time I'd roll into town to do coffee or yeah. to grab coffee, I'd always charge everything up, and then yeah. I had that inverter that I could run a little bit. But having solar, dude, that's the way to go. Yeah, it's just for sure. like especially in these areas that are all sunny. It's just it's 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 a passive way to get energy. Yeah, no, it's a it's a beautiful thing collecting energy from the sun. Mm -hmm. um, well, what do you say? You want to go drive a Jeep Gladiator? Now? Yeah, let's do it, dude. Yeah, so check out that video. I mm -hmm. uh, hope this helped though. Just a little bit of blabbering from some nomads about solar. <laughs> um, but yeah, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. What your solar setup is. If you have any questions, hopefully we can get to those too. Yeah. But uh, thank you for watching.
hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed. And the only question is, are you down to mob? Ow. Woo. Ha.